go start start the go with uh, kidney on priest and then cheap shot on feral into re cheap shot and I'll fear the priest off kidney and then we just do big go on feral. We can open with uh, go on priest because feral will be in staff and then we just see what happens. Um, you can also play if you're comfortable with it. You can also play with seven second kidney, and then you can kidney the priest and sap him into fear every single time uh, with dance. Um, if you're comfortable doing that, uh, either either is fine. Um, the the seven second kidney strat is stronger, but if you're not comfortable with it, then no stress. But yeah, we're just gonna do goes on Feral until he's dead here, pretty much. Feral is night face, so save your trinket for convoke. You can just script it up. This was his berserk, so we should uh should be chilling for a bit. Jesus. Oh, don't lose me, bro. <sighs> Fuck. Um, you don't need to kidney the priest at the start. We can save the, the kidney for the go. Like on the opener. They fucked up on the opener hard, but yeah. It was... Like, we didn't really get much out of it. And then we survived their first berserk, so we were chilling. And then... Um... They pushed in, you got stunned. Um, and then we just, I don't know, we just, I, I think he convoked there as well, which is why he trinketed. I didn't quite see, um, but I assume that's what it was. And then the Feral just killed you with regular damage, which shouldn't really happen. You can maybe just evasion there if he gets the fear on me. Uh, against this, we just kill Rogue, set up with Kidney or Cheap Shot, whatever you want on the Priest. I fear off. Just make sure you stun the priest and then stun the rogue. Always stun the healer first when you're doing a go. Um, the only time you don't stun the healer first is if I can get a free fear on him. Mostly 220. Be ready to open on the rogue if he opens on me. You can open on Priest, he took the eye. Okay. <sighs> if 
Priest takes the eye, you can open on him for free. Rogue wasted their blind, sat me off. Um, you just need to survive there. Uh, by using a CD. Uh, essentially, they wasted their entire blind go, so we've won the game. All you just need to use is one CD there to not die, and all good. You could have also lost the priest here when I got blinded, and they couldn't have done anything. The priest was the one with the eye, not the rogue. Here, we just CC pilot kill monk. Good job. This was solid. Uh, main scary time against this is Zuan, right? When he pops Zuan and then the other scary time is like the other, the second image is when he doesn't have Zuan. Um, if he is doing a go on you with Zuan up, it's okay to use evasion here. Uh, generally, the way this comp works is we try to mitigate damage on us through cooldowns. The same, kind of the same way you do with Major Rogue, right? You try and mitigate damage on yourself with kiting and cooldowns. So that on goes, you can do like big setup, go and, and burst. Like Priest Mage is not that, uh, Priest Rogue is not that different to Priest Mage in that regard. You just don't have the sheep, right? You just have a fear off instead. But you do the same types of goes and then same kind types of like running in between. Uh, so against this, they're essentially gonna kill us in stun goes from the mage. Um. So, if he combusts on you of a stun go with CC on me, it's going to be your trinket. And if he combusts on me, it's going to be my trinket. Uh, outside of that, we just do goes on mage. Same as normal. Okay, they're most likely doing a go on me with the sphere. Otherwise, I don't know why he's fearing. Yep, there it is. You can run in that. All good. really bad. My bad. Greeted way too hard. Next, combust on me, you need to peel with duel or something because I won't have trinket for it. Just be aware. Nice, we saved Trinket on their combust. That's really good. They wasted a go. Oh man, the Penance Global was bad.
Oh, that's a nice kidney. We like. Didn't get the ult of time. Uh, you can wait for the dot to fall off priest here and sap. You can sap the holy ward off and then sap him. If you get the sap, we win the game. Nice. Let's go. Oh my god, this invisible rough. You hate to see it. Nice kick. Good stuff, dude. This is a solid game, to be honest. Had some nice CC on the priest. Nice goes on the mage. Good survival. Can't complain. Damage on goes was decent. Uh, so we're going to do same here, pretty much. We're going to kill the DK and CC the Pala. With the usual CC. Try to wait with your kidney. Don't just rotationally do it. You want to wait until you have a stun for the pallor, and I have fear. Fear is 30 second cooldown. We always want to go with a fear as well. We're not going to ever kill people outside of CC. We don't have good sustain as this comp. Good kidney. Awesome. Make sure you get the, the re done without a gap so he can't use uh, CDs in between. It didn't matter here because DK is a fucking awful, but if this was something like a hunter and you leave this gap in the cheap shots, then he's going to feign death in between and he was going to live because of that. Other than that, this go was like this last go is like exactly what we need every time where possible. Uh, if, if we do this against every team or most teams, um, like three times clean like this, with, uh, with Kidney on healer, two stuns on DPS, you're going to get 2.1 without a loss. Assuming that we don't just randomly get one shot or something. Because it's enough to kill all teams at this rate. If we can just replicate that, then uh, we're good. Just uh, the, the other thing to keep in mind, other than replicating that, is not, not replicating it too soon, right? Because if you do it too soon and I don't have fear, then it's also useless, right? We, we need the fear off. And that's why, why it can be good to be the 7 second kidney, right? Because you can do this kidney shot, then cheap shot the DPS twice, and then sap off on the healer. Um, and then just pump the DPS a bunch more, and then I have fear off the sap as well. So the, the CC chain ended up getting so much longer. Um, against this, we are going to probably kill the priest, I would say. But generally, we see what happens. Uh, as usual, it's your trinket on combust on you, if mage combusts on you. Uh, it's your trinket and cloak, most likely. If they combust on me, it's gonna be my trinket. Um, we can kill either here. I think Priest is slightly easier because he can't kite you as much. Um, if they do a go, they, they essentially have like Sheep DR, uh, a stun on you, and then Silence DR on me, right, for the go. If we survive the go, don't be afraid to, to play aggressively.
like as soon as one of us trinkets or you know if we get a pre cd anything like that they, like, they need, really need a really good go to kill We can just uh, let's, let's sap mage. Be careful of the priest's fade. If the priest fades, you're going to resap the mage and then cheap shot priest. Okay, good. I'm going to fear the mage off this. Nice, we got dispersed. So good. Well done, man. All right, they're doing go now. I could have death this, my bad. Uh, they're going to stun you. This is you or CD, sir. Really good. Should be fine now. Priest has no fade now. We can just zerg him down and kill him. Gonna be my trinket, maybe. Oh, I could have death this actually. Yeah, we should be fine. Nice blind. If you can get sap off this, we can kill mage. Alright, let's kill priest. Priest has fade still there. Okay, that's the fade. Really good. If you get a re, we win. Come in, my lost man. Or cloak, anything. Fuck, oh, unlucky. That was, uh, that was a sad death. If you didn't lost me or you press cloak, it was a win. Other than that, it was a decent game. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, we already beat this. We know what to do against this. We just go mage, try and get some CC on the priest when we do goes. Kidney on priest, cheap shot mage. Uh, survive combust goes. Whoever the, they combust on is going to be using their trinket. It's legendary 10% movement effect stack with the 20% trinket. I think you mean this, right? It doesn't stack with the Relentless Trinket, no. My um, my Priest on Ally is 3200 at the moment. I'm playing for Seeding at the moment for Tawny. I'm going to try and lost the Priest as much as I can. Okay, nice, we've got block and opener. Nice cheap shot, really like it.
Okay, Priest World. Go was a little early, but we had DR, so I was able to MC. Right, right now they're just farming Combust back. You can press Cloak, good job. Uh, if they do next go on you, you don't have cloak. It's going to be your trinket vanish most likely. On next combust if it's on you. Nice cheap shot. I'm going to fear off. Dispel you now. Okay, I have Trinket for the next go on me. I'm gonna Trinket this actually. Be ready to cloak, dude. Oh my god, that's ballsy. Nice Priest Diard fit. Cheap shot. Oh, fuck, man. The range on this DB is so insane. Uh, I think we lose here. Um, not sure. Feel like we were low on damage on our goes here. I think they should be dead. Uh, Mage Rogue is pretty chill. Uh, if you manage to like pre use anything on any of their goes, essentially most of the goes are going to start with either DB on me and stun on you at the same time if they're good, or they're going to start with the rogue stunning me so that the mage can CC. If the rogue stuns me first, you have one global to react, whether that be uh, a vanish, cloak, evasion, whatever. Stun on the rogue, anything. If you do this, you preserve us for what you, you basically give us one extra life. If you don't, then we have two lives pretty much with our trinkets. Andreas, thank you for the sub, dude. Spooky in the chat? God damn. Um, mostly we're going to try and kill Rogue, but if the Rogue uh, gets a restealth, then we're going to do go on Mage to bring him back. The more damage we do on Mage... Um, the, uh, the faster the Rogue's going to come back, because we'll be creating pressure.
Wait, you just killed him? Okay. We take those, dude. We take those. We want to kill Warrior here. Nice Sam. This might be game. Fuck it, I'm drinking. Oh, he gets the sap, dude. And he's done? Oh, it's DR, fuck. Staying in the dome, this is good. Blinds, sap's coming up, back up. If he gets the sap here, it's huge. Does not sap. Okay, he gets the trinket, actually. It's all fine. All fine. Nice kick. Beautiful game, man. Really well played. That was fucking clean, dude. This is a hard matchup for us. We can kill either here. You're cool. See what happens in the game. See who trinkets. Maybe we can prior feral and CC priest. I don't know. It's a weird comp. I'm gonna push up. He can sap the priest so I can get some and do some damage to him. He's just going to lost me until they find you. Nice. How am I in combat? There we go. Ah, I choked. Just keep sapping every every time he gets out of combat, you sap him. So that I get back to him. We need to rot his health down so he gets off his mount. They want they want you to open on him. We don't want to do this. Feral is night fae.
Nice sap, dude. I don't know how he got out. Is it DR? Did I break it? Nice kill, dude. Very nice. Nice, priest wasted faith for nothing. If we get stunned on him, I can fear real soon. I'll just let him see. Where's the trap, dude? I don't know where it is. Priest trinket. Oh, there it is. Feels bad, man. This is game. Maybe not. Oh, fuck, that was a nice vanish. I didn't need to dome. He doesn't have trap here. This is not a good stun from this hunter. Nice. Get the DR fear. Good. I thought we lost this. Good shit, dude. Um, a lot of our goes were very like out of sync, right? Like, my my stun DR was available when. No, uh, sorry, your stun DR on the hunter was available when we like didn't have fear and like so a lot of times we were out of sync with our CC and our our go. So we liked a little bit of pressure due to this. All right, same thing here. Just a bit easy because uh, a bit easier because you're not holy. Where's this Hunter?
Oh, that was spicy. That was spicy as fuck. Holy shit. Let me get this PI off. Oh man, this stun is a fucking cock block and a half. Holy shit. Oh, stay in the dome, bro. Stay in the dome. Yes, the hunter's going in the dome. He thinks it's his. He thinks it's his, dude. This hunter's MVP. Priest just missed fair, dude. Oh, he's dead here. If he runs, he's dead here. Couldn't top him. I'll give him PS. I don't have will for fear. You're losing when the hunter is using war hack. The only thing you're losing is me. So I can't heal you. I can't PS you. I can't do anything. There's all rogue CDs. Fuck, man. I didn't even commit anything here. We almost killed. My bad, dude. I think we might... I don't know. We would have forced stuff at least. Priest is pretty low mana already. Does he try and door here? Nope. Okay, I'm just going to set this done all fine. Ooh, that's a good blind, I think. Gets the trinket. Is he getting the re? He gets the re, it's huge. Gets it, dude. Cheap shot on Priest? This is it. Oh, I got kidney. Sad. We just waited a little bit too long. There was no reason to. They have a blind window and 10 seconds on me. Rogue used his step, though, so maybe we're okay.
this cloak. Oh, you just killed him. <laughs> killed him anyway. Okay. He loved to see it, mate. Good shit. That was a decent game. Hold on, man. Other priest was playing with Radiance. Playing the seven second kidney, you need to try and stun him. Nice, good. I have a dot, so he can't sap anyway. It's DR fear, but it stops fear on me, so I think it's okay. If you stun the rogue when he seven second kidneys me so that he can't sap, it's really good. And Priest will obviously try and fear off. In that case, so then it's good to get stun on him as well. This might be your trinket. Oh, beauty, mate. Beauty. Good kidney. So I faked the run at the priest, right? To send him away because he's scared of fear, right? And then I just ran back and did a little nuke. Little assist damage. This was this was a, a clean kill, dude. Good hold on the trinket as well. I think it was a it was a good call to hold. Alright, we're gonna kill the warrior here with CC on power. Let's do it. Good clean goes. Warrior wasted a sphere. Don't lost me. You have to use evasion now because you lost me. But be careful with that. Nice blind. Okay, we got double trinkets. That's really fucking good. Okay, next go for us is going to be really strong. We're probably going to get CC uh, a bubble maybe from power. Or at least a bop. Uh, as soon as you're ready, you can go with stunts. Okay, that's one bot. Really nice kick. I'm still waddling. Maybe you can sap out of the sphere, I'm not sure. Really fucking good. It was nice, actually. This is good so far. We can do another go in 10 seconds or so. It's 
Stay in the dome. No reason to go out. Good line indeed. The less damage you take, the, the better of a situation we're in. Pallet second bot. Fuck, I clipped my penance. His avatar, we need to just chill here if we can. Trying to avoid damage is a good evasion. Really good. Be vanish. Gets the cheap shot, good. Maybe I can fear off. We need to do like one more solid go. Next 10 seconds. I think I can fear off this. Good blind. Oh, solid, man. Solid game. That was tough, but that's a really hard matchup for us. It's hard to force um, force stuff out, right? Because he ha he can bop every go. So he essentially has a bubble, two bops, a trinket, and warrior's trinket. So we have to do like a lot of goes to get through everything until we can get a go where we can potentially kill. And even then, the warrior's tanky as fuck. If he gets like D-stance, ignore pain... All right, Major Rogue, we know what to do here. Your trinket on Combust on you, my trinket on Combust on me. If the Rogue blinds me on any go, I will trinket, not you. Assuming you get stunned and don't get like a pre-CD off like Vanish or stun on Rogue. Yeah, gear's more important this season than I don't. I think it's ever been, so. Be careful about letting him just get off a great like this. This is a good bomb. That was actually really good. I can pressure mage now. Stay in the dome. All good. Well done.
Maybe we can get block here. That sap, dude. Oh, you love to see it. So clean. This one was really well played, actually. We can love to see it. Like, defensively, they... Uh, they didn't really have any openings on us. Like, we smashed them. Good targeting. Good CDs. Health trinket. Health cloak. Yeah. Fucking huge improvement. Fucking nice. All right, Pallor Warrior again. The tough old bird. That was a bit slow. Nice, he hodged me with barrier up. That's really good. Unlucky Oh man, that dot is so unfortunate. On the sap, would have been so nice. Palo's AFK for a lot of it anyway, thought he was just sapped, I think. Oh! We reached. You can hit Pala during sack, it's fine too. Why wow, does he actually fucking fear my fiend? Oh, it's not warrior fear. Okay, cool. Oh man, if he gets the sap here, it's huge. He gets it, dude.
Good evasion. It's dying in dome, you love to see it. Unlucky, dude. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's tough matchup. Had some unlucky saps where the dot was almost expired. I can play non-spread dot against that, and it's going to happen less. Um, without playing the seven-second kidney, it's really fucking hard to reliably beat that. So I wouldn't feel too bad about that one. All right, against this, we just need to watch out for Convoke, okay? Like, Convoke is what is going to kill you. Con convoke and Incarn. After that, we're chilling. We can just do goes until it's back up again. Um, but yeah, if he Convokes you, it's completely fine to Trinket Cloak. And like, peel it or whatever. Sap. Ooh, takes him out. No CDs used by the Druid Gamer. Big pump, mate. Big pump. All right, we're gonna kill Hunter here. I'll try and get Hunter out of stealth. If we get Hunter out of stealth, it's like nice, but fuck, man, I I really wanted oh, the Hunter's out, Hunter's out. No, Pet's out. Fuck. I don't think we're gonna get a sap. <laughs> right, let's let's open with cheap shot fear instead. Okay, blind is cool too. Okay, we used a lot there. Shaman used Descendants, Hunter used Trinket Turtle. Gonna dome this, this is Hunter big C, a uh, big damage. Stay in the dome. Oh, we can do go now. Nice kidney. Nice, good trappy, really nice. Oh, nice, he used freedom at the same time as Irvin Wall. That's so good, freedom is wasted. We have PS up for it. This is a big damn from them here. Evasion's up. Cheap shot. Oh my goodness, that is a big death. 8.5k. Lovely setup, dude. Into bomb. Shaman chokes on the link. That was uh, not an easy matchup, by the way. Good shit, man. Good, uh, good setups. And good damn on goes. I would say we slightly overused in the opener. Um, like we already got the turtle, um, the, the trinket turtle from the hunter. I think once we get that, you don't need to commit the duel as we're not most likely going to get anything else extra because the hunter has stuff to take care of himself still as well. He has like Fane, he has heal. Other than that, it was a really good opener. 
obviously when we commit the dual layer as well i'm committing some of my stuff too to try to follow up with it but we we got ascendance anyway so i think we would have gotten ascendance regardless of if you dueled here or not so we could have saved that other than that it was good i think uh okay so against this essentially whoever the ret goes i'm going to treat it similar to the combust right when the ret pops big wings whoever that he whoever he pops it on is most likely going to be trinketing and using something getting the fuck out oh nice sap. Deeper. Well, it looks like a bubble, dude. That's forbearance. Oh, you need to peel for the blind. Peel for the blind or die. Peel, peel or die. Peel or die. Peel or die. Dead. I can't drink at the blind. He will kill me in blind if you don't if you don't peel it. Fuck. Essentially, what he does is he pops everything, he blinds me, and then he kills me in blind. If I drink at the blind, he hodges me and I die in hodge. So you have to peel for it. Anything is fine. It's like super gimmicky and really easily stopped with peels. <laughs> it's just, you just need to know that it can happen. Yeah, if we were on Discord, then, um, then it would have been fine here. I completely forgot to say something before the game. And then obviously with stream delay, it was too late. So... That one's on me, man. No stress. Uh, right, same again here. See what we can do. It's a tough matchup. We know what we're doing there. Okay, he just is dead. I guess he was not in D stance. Alright, nice and easy, mate. Nice and easy. Alright, I guess we're done, dude. Fucking smash.